no! <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is BC Begley. As you can tell, I still don't have much of a voice. Um, I'm trying to get better. Um, basically, I had the flu, which kind of led to an upper respiratory infection. It also led to laryngitis. It kind of took my voice out there for about three weeks. Also, I, I was so sick, guys, I couldn't even update my website. So uh, I'm just now getting better. And um, my, my voice is just now coming back a little bit. I mean, it's still raspy. I still sound like I got a frog in my throat. But I'll try my best to do a couple videos today, maybe a couple videos tomorrow, um, and then just kind of rest throughout the weekend, you know, and um, I'll hopefully be back to doing my normal stuff on uh, on Monday and Tuesday um, of, of this coming up week, you know. Um, we'll see how it goes. But if, if, I, if everything goes good on Monday, then um, I'll just be doing videos the rest of the week like I normally do and updating the website and everything. So I apologize. The, uh, the flu is no joke this uh, year, guys. All right. I wanted to bring uh, to your guys' attention this first article. A U.S. military plane took evasive maneuvers after a Chinese fighter jet flew within 10 feet. So a Chinese fighter jet flew dangerously close to the U.S. Air Force aircraft that was conducting routine operations over the contested South China Sea last week. This is according to the U.S. military, who said this on Thursday forcing the American plane to take evasive maneuvers to avoid a collision. Now, the incident reflects what the United States is calling a concerning trend of unsafe intercept practices by Chinese military. The United States Air Force RC-135 aircraft was in international airspace back on December 21st when it was intercepted by a J-11 fighter jet from the Chinese Navy. Now, the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command said in a statement that the Chinese jet positioned itself about 10 feet from the RC-135's wing and then drifted up within 20 feet of its nose as the American plane just maintained its course and speed, leading it to take evasive maneuvers. Quote, We expect all countries in the Indo-Pacific region to use international airspace safely and in accordance with international law, the command said. Now, a spokesman for the command said the United States would respond through the appropriate channels. Now, over in China, the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin said on Thursday that the United States had long endangered China's national security with its aerial and naval reconnaissance in the region and that Beijing would take necessary measures. Quote, the provocative and dangerous actions of the United States are the root cause of the maritime security issues, he said at a regular news briefing. Now, China claims a sovereignty over most of the South China Sea. I apologize for my voice. Where it has territorial disputes with Vietnam, Malaysia, and the Philippines, among others. In recent years, the Chinese People Liberation Army has been increasingly assertive in the area, which has some of the world's busiest commercial shipping lanes. Now, at a regional defense summit in Singapore back in June, Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III said there had been an alarming increase in the number of unsafe aerial intercepts and confrontations at sea by the PLA aircraft and vessels. Guys, if you want to read more, I'm going to put the link to the article in the description below. Um, and I'll see you guys on a couple more videos today. And like I said, I'll probably do a couple more tomorrow. Apologize for my voice, guys. I know it sounds horrible. <laughs> uh, it's getting better. I'm working on it every day. So hopefully by Monday, I'll be back. Um, we'll see how it goes. I got I got arrested, though. So I'll see you guys on the next video. You know, I just, I, I don't think we're putting our best foot forward here. I just, I just, I don't think we are.